Hi guys, Jill here, and this is the fifth card in my Christmas series, and this one is actually four different cards. Um, they're all shaker cards, and they're all using pretty much the same supplies. Um, this one is using all leftover parts um, from when I was trying to um, go ahead and put together um, this card by making different frames. So this one was actually the cutout of a frame and um, what I used for this background that you see with the trees or the trees, the houses, um, I used this X cut build a scene die and this one was just called village and it had some really um, big as you can see like that church in the middle I didn't use that one but I cut out quite a few different pieces and I used all different pieces in the four different cards and you'll see those and how I made them look different and um, it was really kind of a fun set it's made to be a diorama and it shows you how to do that and um, then I also used a snow globe stamp set that I got with a magazine. So um, that's what I used for the background there, um, which is just pretty much the little Santa sleigh. And you can really use any stamp that you might have. I know a lot of us have a Santa and sleigh back there um, like that. And I used the Judican Sparkle Embossing Powder on that. Okay, so first off, I did use watercolor paper for the background part. Um, I used Chip Sapphire, Cracked Pistachio, and Tumbled Glass. And um, pretty much there's no secret to this. I just started with the Chip Sapphire. And um, then on this one, I went over to the tumbled glass and then I mixed it along the middle with the cracked pistachio or wait sorry no maybe I did it the other way around yeah the cracked pistachio on the end and um, that way I was able to get a mix and again this is a frame I was trying out um, I did all of these on my silhouette so the idea was um, different types of frames with the stitched borders. So this one, the stitched borders along the inside, the scallop on the outside is a little bit bigger. And you'll see I use different ones throughout. Um, and this is just on the recollections paper. That part is. So um, I do come in with the Perfect Pro Miss and I splattered that and then dried it off. And that gives a nice um, splatter there and it takes some color away while leaving some shimmer and on the actual card itself it looks kind of um, you know like snow maybe some stars probably a little more like stars so I was really happy with how that came out and I am working on my non-stick craft sheet so um, this is me kind of jumping ahead. This is the background card. On this, I'm using broken china and tumbled glass. And I'm just using um, the 65 pound recollections paper. And I'm really just going around the outside where you're going to see it. I'm not getting as smooth of a blend because you're really not going to see all that much of it. And I'm going to use eyelets on this. This is going on top of uh, the 110 pound heavy cardstock card. I'm adding 1 8 inch eyelets and I use the Stampin' Up spacing tool there. I'm using my crop it out to add the holes as well as to set the eyelets. And I'm just trying to use up some of the supplies I have and I have so many eyelets as you can see. Um, for these four cards, I use dark brown eyelets in all of them, and I use this same process 
for all four cards. And I show those pictured at the end of the video. And like I said, I just showed bits and pieces of each card, but they came together really fast when I did all four together. And I used all of these pieces. Okay, so now all of the villages I did the same with the cutouts. Um, I fit them into the frames and I added um, rock candy distress, distress stickles and I added those with a palette knife. And um, it was really easy to do that and some I added over the villages because they're going to be covered with snow. And I just wiped it up with a baby wipe. And this was really easy to manage. I had it in that little jar, but of course the little tube would be easy to manage also. And I set that aside to dry and it dried really quickly. And doing this in steps, um, by the time I was done with one step, the, the next one was dry. So here's the actual piece. I did do the double on the foam tape. So all I did was rolled it over on itself. I had seen that on somebody's video. I cut it in half and then I cut it into four pieces. And this is how I was able to double up on it nicely. And then some of them I only cut one because I didn't need double on where some of the, the village scene was because of course the the scene itself was going to be in there so I only needed the um, double stick tape on one si each side so I marked where the scene was going to be so that I could put tape on each side so I didn't go over and the only important thing when you're working with a shaker card is that you make sure you don't have any gaps. Now I use different types of um, things in my shakers. Um, I used some German pearl glass beads and then I used just some white seed beads in one of them. And um, both of them came out really nice. You'll see that again at the end. So my transparency is stuck into the front piece. I used the um, matte medium from Ranger. And then it's easier to work with the foam tape when you peel it off of its backing. So you see how much easier it's going into place without the backing on it on both sides. And that's where you're seeing this at. There was a tiny gap, so I just filled that in with a tiny piece of foam. And see, I made that one single layer bigger. And then I come in and match it up with that second layer again. So it's a really simple concept. And then I just put a double layer across the bottom area behind those houses because there's no need for the shaker materials to be back behind there. And I do use non-stick kid scissors a lot with this process. Okay, so I'm using um, my ATG tape as well as a piece of double stick tape in the center to attach that to the card. And then I use a really sticky tape, and this is my double stick tape. And that's what I use to stick the shaker part to the card. I want something really, really sticky, and the double stick tape is very sticky. And I match everything up so that I am sure. Now, I go overboard on these beads. So... Instead of making you watch me pull out all the beads, I jumped ahead. <laughs> so I trap the beads in here and I attach it down. And then I pull up all the tape and stick it to the card. And so there's going to be some pictures at the end for you. So there is the finished card. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. 
and I do hope you have a great day and if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and have a great day.